Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Omno, a game developed by Studio Inky Fox by just one guy by the way which is damn impressive, published by Studio Inky Fox and Future Friends Games and is available usually for £14.99 but came out on Xbox Game Pass on day one and is still there so go 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 get it baby. But <laughs> we play as, presumably, Omno, an onion-headed lad from the planet Omnion, <laughs> potentially. And we have to wade through 10 levels, seeing amazing stunnery scenery, uh, excellent visuals, amazing looking creatures, and more. Now, there are no enemies in the game, but you can still die a lot, falling off stuff, etc., as is the norm with the platformer. As for achievements and trophies, a lot are basically for completing the areas, but we mainly we have to be completing them 100%, which involves collecting text cubes, orbs, finding all animals in a level, and of course just completing it. But just before you leave an area, it will show you how much percentage you're on, so you know you're missing one or two, or you can press the Y button as well to see what you are on as well. Now I will leave a timestamp with every collectible to grab in the comment section below so you know what you may and may not be missing. There are also five missable achievements, but they are all very, very easy. And so, with that being said, then let us begin. So, I, I, I suppose we're kind of like a, an old onion head. We got a walking stick. We got an onion as a head. We've lived a good life so far. But like I said, we are on to the beginning. Sorry broski broski, it's time to wake up from your dirt nap. And we are going to be getting one of those missable achievements at the very beginning, immediately. So you see all this water? Well, don't walk too far into the water, but we're going to sort of head to the left and we're going to stay on the shore. If you head into the water, you die. So simple as. But all we need to do is walk in the water for around 20 seconds or so. And that is one of the very first easy missable achievements. So even if you do end up missing this, uh, you will literally get it at some point anyway. <laughs> To be fair, just don't walk too far in because, you know, you'll get the Jason fear, drown and die. So from here, then we can just jump up onto the rocks. If you um, press the A button once, you do a little jump. If you hold the A button, you do a bigger jump. This big C on the ground there is the checkpoint. And a lot of the time, every new animal that you encounter, you'll get it kind of like um, the Pokedex from Pokemon. It'll just sort of give you... You know, a bit of information about it, froglet, blah, 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 etc. So, that's what we'll be doing as well. We'll be uh, finding every animal in a location and moving on with that then. And this is where our first story sort of related achievement um, un unwinds. As we go through the game, we'll be riding these five legendary animals. Here we have the Stoner Turtle. <laughs> Dude. The Stoner Turtle from Finding Nemo or from every... TV show or film ever. For some reason, turtles are hippies and they like to get stoned a lot. Not that there's a lot wrong with that. Jump on his back, automatically go, and uh, we end up in the next area unlocking our second achievement. I mean, I suppose the turtle literally could have just taken us to the end of the game, but, you know, that's okay, that's fine. So just jump off its back and we are on to the, uh, we're coming up now to the first main area of the game, the Akakuiki Pit, or the Akakuki, Akakuki, I don't know, well, y you'll see, you'll see in just a moment anyway. So this is what will normally happen, we get to a new, new area, you press the X button, um, mainly next to lights and things. So we've got the X button there to interact with a lot of things. Y button, like I said, to when you're in an area, open up, see how much percentage you're on. Uh, the A button, obviously holding that, is to jump. There we go then. And again, if you press the white button, you can see a little bit of information about it if you want. But first things first, we're going to head to the left, grab that first orb. Now to complete, if you just wanted to complete a level, uh, if we just head to the right here, sorry. 
and we're coming up to these uh, first, these little lumbies or loomybees or whatever the hell they're called. And then we've got these little turtles as well. Turtles. Very Pokemonish. So jump across and then head to the left and then press the X button here. This is, uh, some of these are time based and others are more or less permanent. Um, so just keep an eye out on them. But like I said, to complete just the main level, you've got to collect these three orbs and then you can do the small puzzle at the end. But of course, we'll be collecting a lot more. And as we can see, there is the first one. We'll be collecting a lot more to get the complete 100%. There's not that much, there's not that many sort of collectibles in an area. But of course, with it being a sort of open wide one, sometimes it can be a bit confusing. So I will try my best to keep y'all going. So we're going to head back on the Toral Dulls. And we are going to press the X button by these Toral Dulls. And then what they'll do is release like these small white diamonds. Uh, this basically gives you energy and there is, all it's for is there is an orb on top of like a tower-ish. And you basically just need enough energy to get that orb down. That's all that is for. Uh, so sort of head towards back the way you came, sort of near the beginning. Head to the right here and we're going to find our second orb. Sorry, it's just trying to explain where to go and explain everything that's happening in the game. Um, but those little diamonds are on every, basically every enemy and every plant. So there are there's literally lots to go through. So now we're going to head to the left right here. And we've got more of these little froglets. So it's always worth interacting with every animal and everything that comes. Uh, every animal that goes by, they will always give you a little bit of energy. Jump up one of these tree trunks, stumps, branches. And that is where the second orb is. Noisy as slicey. So that is. So then, oh, in fact, no, we've already. <laughs> that's the third one. Oh my god. There's so many already. So basically, now, if you wanted to, you could just complete the level. But if you basically go away and restart the level, um, you have to collect everything again. So it's definitely worth just smashing through the game all at once if you can. Or just pressing the continue button. Just basically do not restart it. So we've. Got quite a bit of energy uh, now, but it's, it's literally always worth just collecting a lot. That is all it is for, though. It's just that one orb that we need, and there it is. As you can see, just in front of us, there is the orb. If we don't have enough, it'll obviously tell us that we need to get some more. And you've seen me collect these already, but like I said, if you go away and come back, they will always sort of restock. So if you need any more, just literally go away and come back. And job is done. So, there we go. That is the next orb for us. And now we can just go quickly across the tree branch. Head to the left. And there is only one of these meditating posts in every level. There is one that we still need to sit our ass on. And think, why do I have the head of an onion? What happened to my life? And pressing the white button gives you the power to show what kind of percentage that you're on. Anyway, head to the left from the meditation post, and this is where the text cube is, the first one. There's usually only three of these a level. Um, so as soon as you press X to interact with it, it'll give you a little bit of dialogue at the bottom. You don't have to read all of it. You can just walk away. Just walk away. Now we are coming up to our second missable achievement. You see these little rocks? These little crab rock things? You need to press X on the same one five times. Um, really just to piss them off, I think. That, I think genuinely think that's all it is. You know how you get annoyed if somebody stamps a big stick on your head five times? Yeah, normally that happens. Uh, grab the text cube next to this lappy crab. I had crabs once. Turned it to be one of those lappy crabs. So I flicked it away. Yeah, 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 that's not a, that's not a joke. That's serious. So with that, then uh, we are now complete. So we're going to go up to this rock and press the X button on it once, and just try and again, obviously, just follow the same path that I do. We basically need to be making a path on the upper levels. Um, press the X button to grab this little orb right here. This isn't a collectible. Um, this basically just helps with the puzzle. So we need to light up the next part. And you can only do that by grabbing one of these little light balls itself. So, obviously, as you can see there, we've uh, raised up the path. And now we can push this big block to the other side to get across. And that is the first area complete. So, it's a very simplistic game in terms of, like I said, gameplay and in terms of 
button use, etc. as well. Sort of what you have to do. You should get used to it very quickly in this first area. But there we go. So, the quacky quacky pits are done. God damn it, boy! We stopped taking dirt naps. Actually, no, that's fine. I think I think our onion-headed friend is pretty much all of us in terms of taking a nap on the floor whenever we want. I wish we could do that in real life without being, you know, woken by policemen or being stabbed or anything. Such is life. So we're just gonna follow this small little path until we get to the next area. We are now coming up to the Agnea Plateau, which is nice. So after taking in the view then, first thing we're doing is going to the right and there's going to be a little text pube right in front of us. But it's not actually just for text, it actually gives us a superpower. So now when we press the right bumper, we have a basically unlimited amount of dash. So what you can do is jump up in the air, press the right bumper to dash and, well, it's called the jump and dash. Yeah, obviously. So as we head immediately to the left, as soon as you get to the area, these are one of the text cubes. So yeah, pretty easy to get used to them. We'll have another two powers that we can uh, collect a little bit later on if we interact now with this statue with a bunch of whole awesome writing on it. Very confusing, no idea what's going on, but it's all good. So immediately we're going to head to the right and we're just going to get some energy crystals. Make sure to pick them up. They don't actually get to you automatically. And then we're heading to the right, right here. Now, you can stomp on these lappy crabs as well. Obviously get yourself some more energy. But what we're going to do is press the X button here. Uh, basically to uh, start this. It's kind of like a little puzzle. Like I said, some of these are timed with the, the, the rocks with the kind of C on them. And then others are uh, just sort of permanent so obviously this is a permanent one it just knocks the rock down for us so turn around be be careful here line yourself up lovely and then press the a and the rb button lovely now of course uh, just be aware that sometimes you can actually overshoot what you're aiming for so it's always best to sort of stand in the middle of the platform or you know anything like that um, just to get to the other side there's a lot of times you may overshoot it so do not worry so we've got a first orb oh I'm getting too fat and too old for this and uh, now we're just gonna head over to the left right here as you can see floating in the middle of the rock is a another text cube and of course, we just collected another animal as well. So they should always be roughly in the same area that um, we are in as well. So next things next, we're just going to head sort of into the middle. We've got these shoobs, which they look mighty tasty in a stew. Hmm? i got to stop thinking about food. i got to stop thinking every animal is food in this game. And that's what turns you into me. Big, chubby, also kind of beautiful. <laughs> that's fine. So, from here, what we're going to do, as soon as you stomp on the lappy crabs, we're heading to this sort of rock here on the left-hand side. As you can see, it is where the meditation post is. So, that is where we are off. We're going to do a little bit of meditating. And remember to get your He-Man, we have the power, stick up by pressing the Y button to see what percentage you are on. So from directly below, we have found these um, little beetle things. And then we can just jump up and collect the next orb. 
frummels or something. Sorry, the writing is like really small right now and my eyes are particularly bad. Uh, so, we're going to head up on this rock, which is sort of to the left of the orb. And then we're going to press and dash across to the other side. Again, remember, it's the A and the right bumper button. And then we can collect this next text, P.U. Boss. And then we can just jump up. Now we're going to do this sort of small puzzle. What we can do, though, first is head to the right and get this energy orb out of us. I mean, don't you think that hurts? Although, I suppose, again, if you've got an onion for a head... You've only got an onion brain, or, you know, what? what's the, I don't know, an avocado brain? Either way, it probably doesn't hurt, as we can tell. So, for, uh, directly the opposite side then, what we're going to do is do this puzzle. So we need to jump across, and then to the next one, turn to the right, and then dash yourself to the other side. And again, remember to stay sort of... It really depends. Sometimes if you stay in the middle of the platform, you can get across easy. If you you might overshoot it though, if you're too far back, etc. And death. <laughs> well, not death, but if you do fall, you can actually lose uh, a bit of energy, so you can just collect some more. But we're going to head to the left. We're going to head up onto this big rock. Kind of looks like a rock. Lots of nice things. And we're going to dash ourselves to the other side, grab the orb. Doesn't look like you can make that one, but you always can. So every time, like I said, that you complete an area 100%, you will get the achievement immediately. So that is when you know you are sorted. But if, but if you are doing this sort of ending puzzle and you get to the end, you'll know that you haven't got it. And it'll tell you before you leave anyway, um, if you only have a certain amount of percentage. So stick your stick in dry. We're not putting any lube in there. We're just going in dry uh, with the X button and then pushing it all the way to the right. And then what this does is basically helps us float up a bit. We're going to be doing a little bit more of these pushing the blocks. So push the left one first. We're going to push that all the way down. That's pretty sure that's all good. And then press it once the other side as well. Push that down. And then what we can do is just jump up. Row and dash. Row and dash. And it goes the same. Dash across to the other side as well. There is another orb that we're going to be collecting. Uh, sorry, it's not an orb, but it is um, a little button that we have to press. I almost fall off and fudge myself up. But that is the one thing that we needed. Bam. I tell you what, Onion Boy is just... He's so majestic, isn't he? When he flies across and doesn't break his little legs like that. But we're going to put this little whooshy thing, this little uh, thing up to the left-hand side now. And this bit is easy. What You can just dash across the other side and do the same with the next part. There is another checkpoint. Of course, there are a lot of checkpoints in this game. So even if you do die, uh, you basically end up very, very close until the uh, just before the next part. So we're going to jump across the other side. Make sure to dash your ass. Dash your ass. And then that is that for this bit. So obviously right here, we've got 100% so we can leave. But remember, if you do not have 100%, make sure to go back and grab uh, whatever it is that you're missing first. Again, timestamps will be in the comments section below. With all, uh, basically everything that I collect, animals, all the text and all the orbs, just in, just so you know sort of which one you're missing. Now, we're going to ride a big old giraffe neck, and life will be good. Look at me, flying so high amongst the... Word. Now, I wonder why uh, none of these animals have tried to eat us. You know, we, I mean, we, uh, I suppose, eating an onion raw, I suppose they got to cook us first, and there's probably not a lot of frying pans, although animals don't give a crap about that, do they? So, anyway, we appreciate that. We appreciate that big time. Thanks for not trying to kill us all the time. So, you interact with 
this one. This basically signifies the start of the new area, and then we'll go and take a little looky loo. And welcome one and all to the Malaha Plain. Kind of sounds sounds very exotic, like we're on a, a way to Hawaii or something. But this looks uh, pretty much a lot less like Hawaii. Unless it was Hawaii before, you know, all these weird dinosaurs and things got moved. Died. Got fudged up. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are going to do the first meditation post right here. Get this one out of the way since it is the closest. And again, we're going to use our He-Man power to check what percentage we're on. Obviously, we're on basically zero. So, head to the left right here. And what we're going to do is head up. <laughs> Weep. Weep. I got these little uh, little ball sacks running away from us there. So, heading all the way to the left, jump up onto these mushrooms. And if we just turn around to our right, and there we're going to see some more mushrooms. Dash. Dash again to get to the orb. And that one is good. Now, I know a lot of the times it may seem like you may not be able to make it, but it's always worth to try and give yourself the dashy ass. And nine times out of ten, you will make it. So you need to get rid of these dangly cucumber wiener things. Um, hit the X button by them to get some more energy. Same with these little ball sacks running away right here. Hilarious. And again, just heading up to the left is where we find the next text cube. So again, try and um, try and get the wiener to spit out the white diamonds there, the white stuff. And then we're just going to move past the big energy orb and head towards these big Chronorus Arg. Uh, press the X button there by the Sea Rock, we're going to call that. Just call that the Sea Rock, makes it easier. And he was sitting on an orb. Don't you think that was uncomfortable with an orb up your butt? My assumption is pretty uncomfortable, but, you know, people like what they like. And so do animals, apparently. So if you press the X button next to these, whatever the hell they were just called, uh, what it will actually do is help us get the orb at the top of the rock right there. So as you can see, there it is. So we need to jump up and then immediately press the dash button when you get high enough. Well, you know, try and do it a lot better than I did there. That would be very much appreciated. Oh, in fact, no, I collected it. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so I managed to actually collect it. Just double check that I actually did. So sometimes things work in our favor for once. Life. So now what we can do is head up to the right, right here, and we're gonna interact with these uh, dangly white wieners again. Well, I suppose they're purple and grey as well. It depends how depends how often they got washed, I guess, really. And then when you've got <laughs> enough energy, hmm, I wash mine all the time. Honestly, I do. So, we've got the next orb there from the big energy tower. So, now, you don't actually have to collect any more of the energy tower, uh, the energy from animals and plants, if you don't want, but it's always worth a shot. So, we're moving past, in the middle of the map, past the big dinosaurs, the chronoroses, or whatever. And we're going to collect the next text cube, next to our squirrel fine flying friend, right, meow. Next up, what we're going to do is just jump across to the other side, um, directly where that last text cube was, and again... And there is going to be another little orb for us. Eventually, there it is. So it is up the top, as you can see. But we have to do a small little puzzle. So again, we're going to interact with the Sea Rock. Or the O Rock. I don't know. What do we... No, it looks like a sort of parallel C. So we're just going to call it the Sea Rock. To so interact with the with the with uh, both of them, actually. We're going to put them both down to the other end for now. And then just interact with the right one. I think it's the right one, actually, that's going all the way down to the other side. And then we're going to be pushing the left one up. Obviously, this is just to make a little path. So, there we go. So, I did do that one a little bit too much. <laughs> but that one is fine. So, push that. And then push this. And then push that. As long as they're sort of all the way, more or less, towards the end. So, we're going to push that one up once. And then it should... Unless it gets stuck here, I think it does. Yes, so it does actually get stuck. So there we go. So as long as it... Yeah, yeah. So like I said, as long as it's parallel with the other one there, 
then we can just push it all the way down and then push it down to the other side. That will give us a nice little path and that will get us the Orb of Life. So jump up on our springy thing. Obviously you need to give yourself a bit of a dash now. Just be a little tiny bit careful here. Obviously it's always uh, best to line yourself up as good as you can. Give yourself a little dash and then you should be good. If you don't dash, uh, line yourself up tidy, well, you're just going to have to keep replaying the same bit until you get it right, more or less. So that is that orb done. We've just basically uh, ended our life, but now we're back alive, which is always fun. <sighs> Thank God, because life is awesome, right? <laughs> so press the sea rock, and then we can just jump across to the other side. Lovely. So we've got a few more things. We're going gonna head to the right. We're going to interact with this mushroom thing. Twivelers. Twivelers. You actually need to stand on top of it, press the X button, and that'll spin us into an absolute destroyable coma. Except we're still walking, so it's not a coma. And we're going to keep on heading to the right. You see the next text cube. So again, obviously, interact with that, pressing the X button. Everything you interact with, it'll tell you what button to press anyway. Um, head behind yourself there, and then what mind for the gap. And just dash across the other side. That'll get us the next orb. And that is this area 100% complete off. Now, I'm pretty sure you will be asking yourself, Oh, but Mr. Welsh Hunter, um, I missed something. Well, like I said, descriptions, timestamps below, etc. Every collectible, everything all good. So you'll be fine. So we're going to go all the way up here, grab this little light, and we need to interact with this one. This is going to light up this platform, which we can now stick our uh, big, gigantic black thing into. Our black stick, I think it's black, it looks black, it might be grey. Again, a bit unwashed, but that's fine if it's grey. Um, <laughs> but the platform raises, and then we can actually just move across to the other side. What we need to do is put this platform all the way up. <laughs> Down, sorry. Good, good, good God, I, I don't even know my ups and downs. My life is meaningless. But <laughs> then you grab the lights, put it on that newly downed platform. Imagine not knowing your ups and downs. Jeez, your left and right, I can understand, but your ups and downs, good God, woman. So grab the <laughs> next light, and then, of course, we need to put it onto this light. This is going to help us move the platform all the way up this time. See, now again, to do this legit, once again, you know, without a guide or anything, it, this takes, this will take uh, a little bit of brain power, but, you know, it's what we're there to help you with, because we love you. And I keep telling you in every video, but it's true. Anyway, grab the light, I'm putting it right back onto the starting one. We'll help us get our little airy, jumpy friend going. And then we can grab the little light orb once again. Put it over to the next one, and that is job done for this area. Now we're going to move on to a completely new area. Exciting times, huh? Goodbye, old Hawaii. Well, I suppose we know now know why the turtle wouldn't be able to just take us round because we sort of amazingly flew up in the air before taking another nap with our little squirrel flying friend. And it's a little bit nippy right now, so, uh, well, you might want to get some of your onion friends. You might want to get a little jacket on, huh? Onion jacket, onion layers. Hmm. Yeah, there's a joke in there somewhere, but since... I really don't know what I'm talking about, we're just going to move on. And we're going to be getting ourselves a cheeky new power. 
So dash yourself forward a little bit. Obviously, it just helps get yourself forward. And we're going to interact with this same statue. And then, as you can see, just in the background floating is the uh, next power for us. It's a cube, obviously. And then what we can do then, press the left trigger. You've got to uh, press and hold the left trigger. And that will make us swerve like a badass. So, yeah. Oh, hello. That kind of looks like Lugia. Slash Lugia. However the hell you want to say from Pokemon. He looks pretty badass, but so do we. We All we got is our big black stick and we're sliding on it. So press and hold left trigger. Get to the next area. Love life. And welcome to the Slagia Valley. Sagia Valley. Sorry. So I was expecting to see a whole bunch of naked people, but it turned out to be a whole bunch of clothed animals. So head to the right and we're going to see a little Bulba. Baba Thor. And then we again, we're just going to be collecting a lot of energy on the way as we go. Press the sea rock right here. And that is going to float up these floaty boy rocks. And of course... You know, if some rocks are floating, there's only one thing to do, and that is climb them. And if you don't know that, if you don't know how to, if you don't know to climb floating rocks when you see them, you've never played video games before. It's just an, an automatic feeling you get. So climb to the top, and then we're just going to jump dash across. Now, some of these animals can be potentially tricky to find, uh, just because purely it is up on this new little tiny area, uh, these little snail things. So make sure to grab them before we head off, then we can head to the right. And then what we're gonna do is be doing a little bit of dashing, a little bit of platforming, a little bit of dashing in your ashing. And there's a little orb just across the way, so of course line yourself up tidy, get a good jump across. Nice, and that is, oh, it, it's, I mean it's close to an orb, it is a text cube, but it's the same thing, right? Apart from one's an orb and one is a text cube. So, <laughs> yeah, try to jump down a bit gracefully. You can actually, um, s uh, s uh, sorry, save yourself from falling on your face by pressing the left trigger button now. So if you tr press the left trigger button just before you fall, uh, you'll just end up on top of your broomstick uh, doing a bit of surf, snow surfing. And that just saves you getting fudged up on your face. So heading towards the opposite end now is going to be the next orb, and that is where we can now jump down. So we are done with this little tiny area. There you go. So as you can see, completely badass. I don't die to death. I do a bit of surfing, and I am super cute. So next up then, let's get these big, I don't know, what are these meant to be? Big deer things, or well, they're called Mabaroses, but they kind of look stoned as well, just like the turtles from earlier. <laughs> so, uh, grab them, and then what we're going to do is just head to the left of those Mabaruses and get on this um, rock, which is sort of in the middle of the map. So, get your buns up there, huns. Have to do a little dash to where our little flying friend squirrel is. If you do get lost, or you're sort of unaware of where to go, just look out for your flying friend squirrel, and he will actually show you the way, which is nice of him. He's not just there to annoy us, which is a bang tidy, mate. 
So that is the next orb done. Now we can just jump down. We're going to jump down to where that Marlboro is on the left. And again, forgetting to surf. So, you know, just die. That's fine. Just land on your neck and just walk away from it. That's also super cute. We're going to head up this little bit of stairs. And lo and behold, I don't have enough energy. So again, couple of animals, couple of plants about and everything. So smash that out, get some energy. As soon as you got some, as you can see, <laughs> it kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like a lot of people on a night out. As soon as they get some <clears throat> quote unquote energy down them, well, they can party all night. And that is exactly what it looks like here. I, I assume extremely unintentional, but still very funny. <laughs> all the same. So we've got all three orbs, now we can do the final puzzle if we want, but of course we are not going to want to do that, because we are going to grab the rest of our collectibles. So this is a new type of puzzle. Now what I'm going to tell you in order, from the bottom where we are is number one, and then I'm going to go all the way around to the left, and that's going to be two. So one, two, six, three, five. So that is the order of the um, lights, or, or the and obviously the last one then but that's the order that you um jump in that is to basically complete the puzzle get the platform up but that is what i'm going to tell you just so it's a lot easier so from the very bottom one is is one and then from the left all the way around is two three four five six so hopefully you get that just i mean you can either stick with what i do or you can obviously just copy exactly what i do um and mute my Deliciously disgusting voice. It's completely up to you, but um, We got a couple of those puzzles to do anyway, so what we're gonna do uh, we head to the left and now we've got this little bunny thing um, <laughs> The bungers which is yeah pretty much like a bunny, but with a hue jazz right there uh, Now head to the middle just below where those bunnies were and that is going to get up this platform again Like I said remember that some of these are timed as soon as you hear it there you will know when it's timed as soon as you hear a, cl a ticking clock in the background. That is obviously no, you know when it's timed. That one is timed, so you just have to be quick about getting across to the other platform. Grab the orb, head to the left. Head up this... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sort of uh, catching up with myself all the time. There's just so much going on. And then we can jump across and grab this next text cube. Oh man, I need a drink. Vodka. So we're going to jump down. We... Do still have a couple of things left to collect. Uh, so directly in front of us, there's going to be another text cube just past these stairs. So don't bother about going up stairs right now. We will come to you in just a little bit. But as you can see, just in front of us, to the right there, you can just see a little text cube floating. So jump it up, dash it across, dash it across, collect, collect, collect. And by the way, I, I don't know if you've got it by now, but that is the general theme of each area as we go along. Just in case you didn't get it. Um, but now you should. So, uh, we're going to sort of hug the left-hand side walls right here. Going into these trees. Oh, we got dodgy. I see a human head sticking out of the trees. Somebody's been busy. And this is where the little meditation post is. Just past the trees. And that is the one. That gets us the achievement for completing the Snagyar Valley. So now, like I said, we can obviously go ahead, do the final little puzzle, and get our onion ass out of here. And what it is, is remember that little small puzzle we done earlier on? That is it. So if, it, if we go from 1 is the bottom, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way around. So I'm just going to tell you what to do. You basically just have to copy each one. So you jump on the first 1. So it's 1, 2, and then dash yourself across to 6. And that, and then uh, number 5, sorry, and that is... 
um, what completes that puzzle. So we have to do this three times to get three floating rocks up. So I hope that you sort of get my explanation. Again, I'll just say it once more. One is at the bottom, and then you go all the way to around uh, to the left, all the way around. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully you get that. Uh, this puzzle is only specific for this level anyway. So now as you can see, it's one, three, four, six, five. So we'll jump on the first one. And then dash yourself across to number three. And then number four, over to the next one. Then six, dash yourself over. And then number five. And that is what that light appears then. So again, this one is very easy. Not a lot of explaining to do here. Take the light and put it over to the uh, next one in the middle. And then go again. And finally, last but not least, we've got one, five, three, six, two, four. So here we go then. So that is one. Dash yourself to five. And then dash yourself over to three. Then dash yourself to six. Then to two. And the final one is four. And then we can, again... Obviously, remember now that there are gaps as you uh, cross the platform. So, you know, if you could try not to die at this point so you don't have to do all of this again, that would be extremely helpful. For yourself, I mean. Just don't die. Don't do it. It's bad for your health. Oh, hello, we've got uh, Tentacruel's evolution right here. Our third legendary animal, who again doesn't want to hurt us for some reason, but we'll take that every time. So this is the area then that we are going to get the next missable achievement as well. The like-minded achievement for surfing with skip you wins for 30 seconds. And we're going to see them pretty much immediately now. But we're going to head to the right, gather a little bit of energy and grab that text cube just on the left. There it is. So whip your ass up. Grab that schnit. Bang, tidy mate. And as you can see just here, this is what a skip you in looks like. Kind of like a scorpion. Ish, funnily enough, that's mad, isn't it? Or kind of like a beaver or something. But what we're going to do is press and hold the left trigger, and then we're just going to go in a massive circle and hold that for 30 seconds. That's what gets us the achievement. 
Plus, of course, um, as soon as they've had fun, they start releasing uh, bit by bit some white stuff out of their bum. Or out of their heads, even. Well, you know, close enough. So, again, you don't have to do it all in one go. You can literally do 29 seconds if you want, and then do the final one, uh, the final second one if you want. So I'm going to do it actually, like, right now. See, so, yeah, I think that was about three or four seconds I had left there. Um, but that was just to get the rest of his little white things off of his head. So, again, make sure to grab the like-minded achievement there before we head on. So, this time we are heading all the way up to the back. Now uh, we can see our floating tentacool, tentacruel evolutionary friends. And if you haven't guessed by now, we are, of course, going to be climbing on them. That is, I mean, that is the main premise of the game. So it's something that we should uh, have gotten used to by now. So just be careful. Wait until they get to, to uh, below you before you dash, because you can't climb up on these. And then dash to the other side. Grab the orb. Life is just phenomenal as an onion-headed boy. See, now something tells me if uh, any one of us were to land face first and belly first on top of a ice from a hell of a distance, that's going to hurt us a lot more than it did to our onion-related friend right here. Still, he is pretty badass for doing so. So we're going to head up to this sort of top area as well. We're just going to grab a little bit more energy from these from these bunjas. Yeah, bumda bunja. And then what we're actually going to do is be doing a little bit of surfing and we are going to do it through the fantasticness that is those little archways there. Portals, archways, whatever the hell they look like to you, that is what we need to do. So even if you do um, sort of surf past one or anything, that is fine because they will always stay lit up. Or at least it did for me anyway, so hopefully they don't change that with a future update or something. But yeah, so that should be fine. So, like I said, it's not a tight, it's not timed or anything. So if you do miss it, you can just, you know, walk away and walk walk your way back around it. Skip you in just got smashed right in the noggin in there. So <laughs> I like you, pal. And of course our surfing is running out, but if you're that skill at surf if you're that skill at surfing, you you surf on bloody anything. Which would not be me in real life. So, that's all you do then. If you do, if you do end up getting lost on this bit, you can just follow the light as well. And here we are. We have made it. We've made it home, Kelly! And there we go. With that, the platform opens up. And the orb is ours. Jump down like a complete badass again. I'm so cute. Have a look at this rock. And we've got these little octoluses. Look like giant floating condoms, personally, but um, that's just me. I don't know why I think that, but I'm just silly in the head, really. I'm an, I'm a, I'm an immature, mature man. So, why, hello. That is very nice. And in fact, it's one that could potentially be missed if you're not going for the 100%. But of course, if you are... Go for the 100%, you would obviously got that because we are going for the orb as well. So you should get big, big massive sperm whale thing and orb as well. Which basically means the puzzle is free to go. Now this one is the trickiest puzzle in the game if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I will explain how the puzzle actually works in just a bit because it can... It's basically um, randomized, so it will be randomized for you, but I will explain in best terms that I can how to actually do the puzzle. It did take me about 10 minutes to figure out, but once you do figure it out, it is very easy. So just for the time being, then I'm just getting a couple of these uh, little bits of energy as, you know, needing a little bit more. But now we are good. We're going to head sort of more or less kind of back to the beginning, head up onto this rock, grab the text cube. And then from here, we can just jump down. We're going to head to the left now. And uh, we're going to find a bunch of new animals that we haven't seen before. Even though they look like we have seen these before, we have not. These stalics, stocks, deary things. Anyway, once again, again, if you do need some more energy, of course, just click on every animal. 
Don't worry, no animals I assume were harmed in the making of this video, or this game at least. Unless they did, like, you know, harm animals to make the noises or anything, but I'd be very surprised at that. And I don't suppose that'll be a practice that would go down very well. So, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to actually head... Uh, we don't actually need any more energy, but, you know... If, if you want to keep partying all night, that, this is what we got to do. So it's just before uh, that, or just after the second sort of portal thing right there. Sorry about that, just kind of got lost. Again, the more the areas go on, the bigger the area is. Sometimes it can get easy to get a little lost. So apologies if that it doesn't happen all that time. Um, but apologies if it does. So we've got our little... Um, Energy orb, or the orb from the top of the tower. Now if we just head to the left, it is where we are going to get the uh, meditation spot. And the 100% um, of this area done. And then we can move on to the... Oh, after we uh, grab this text cube, sorry. And then we can move on to the puzzle. So you need to keep going. Uh, we're just going to keep climbing up. Dash to the other side. And that is the text cube us. Okay, uh, damn apologies if we just head to the left. We do have another orb to collect. So no, we don't have just the meditation spot to go yet. Um, we're going to keep on going to the left, hugging this sort of rock right here. Jump up on this platform and then we've got a small little puzzle to do before we can get the orb. So I'm not going to bother telling you about the symbols and what they mean. Uh, I'm sure somebody else will come up with that in a video. But I will tell you how many times you have to press the button. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the right one first, and we're going to press that once. And then if you actually look to the right, uh, we can see what symbol we need for this particular one. So we need to press it again, and then that is that. Now we've got obviously two more pillars. Now you can find them. If you need to find out which particular ones they are in the proximity of the area, but you press the middle one once and the left-hand side one three times, and then obviously as soon as you get it right it'll automatically uh, the platform will automatically go across and then we can grab the orb and life my baby will be fantastic fantastic and now what we're going to be doing is going for the meditation spot um, now of course it's completely up to you know if you do end up finding the meditation spot first then obviously by all means you go absolutely nuts and sit your butt on it um, but we're just going to keep on going. We're basically just going across, and it's sort of close, again, to where the uh, light and the sort of portals are. Just I think it's just across there from the energy orb tower. And there it is then. So again, if you do stumble across this one first, you know, by all means, sit your butt down on it. Um, unless you want to follow the video tidy, and then you can do that. Completely up to you. But what we're going to do now is, like I said, the trickiest puzzle in the game. And once I, you know, again, like I said, it is easy when we get used to it, when you know exactly what you're doing. But first of all, it will have you confused as a donkey scratching his own anal gland. Or something not disgusting. <laughs> so then, now this is the same sort of puzzle as we've done before. But as you can see on the back wall, there is basically like a grid. Nine dots with a stone pattern on it. Uh, the easiest way I can explain this is, looking at the grid, check the stone symbol, and that acts as north, basically. So whatever light appears, you need to jump on that one directly from north, if you get me. So if the button is lit up directly underneath the symbol on the grid, you need to jump onto the same button directly under that symbol. As I said, it acts as basically north. So as I go on, you will see exactly what I mean. So it's Because it can be very confusing as to see uh, where it is. So we're going to look at, so there, have a look at the symbol there, and it's telling us to go directly, basically at the very end. So as you can see, if you're looking at the grid, there's, there's the north symbol, so you need to go all the way to the left, all the way down there, because that is basically going straight from um, that particular symbol. 
So with this one then, again, that's doing the same thing. So it's acting as north, so you need to jump on the one that is on the bottom. And that is basically how the symbol works. So again, that one can be very confusing because the uh, dots that we're already jumping on are not lined up um, completely as it is in the grid. Obviously, it, it's in a diamond shape, so that is how it can confuse you. Um, but yeah, again, when you know what you're doing, it is quite easy. Um, so again, it, the symbol on the grid acts as north. You can just go from that. So, I mean, hopefully, I, <laughs> I tried my best to explain that as best I could, but that is definitely the trickiest puzzle in the game. One of the trickiest ones. Uh, so as soon as you can get past that, we are finally done and we are moving on. So amazingly, after magically flying away, kind of Aladdin style, but you know, without Jasmine holding you back and the flying carpet, although I suppose she was rich and I, Aladdin was the poor man. Uh, actually, it's probably the other way around, really, wasn't it? But still, we're going to take the dirt nap. We're into a new area. It's going to be the same sort of one as the snowy one, so we're just going to do a little bit of sand surfing this time. And this time we've got another new power, so you press the X button only when the target reticle appears um, at a particular teleport sign. So if you try and do it beforehand, of course, uh, if the target doesn't appear, then obviously the teleport's not going to work. So if you're mid, <laughs> um, if you are mid air and you go to teleport and the target is not there, then well, honey, you are falling to your death. Uh, but again, this is just like a little tutorial bit, so uh, just you get sort of used to it. Just, just so you can get used to it. Easy peasy, this bit. And here we are then, we've got two of these areas to do, Cavolta Canyon. And the first thing that we are going to do is head directly, sort of, just slightly to the left to grab another text cube. And we are actually going to be getting another missable achievement as well. See, I'm too kind, I wouldn't let you starve with the achievements. So you head in the opposite direction, you're going to see what uh, these little weird things, which are called Kaloobs. You need to interact with them, so just press the X button by them. They're going to start following you around. All we need to do is interact with three, and the achievement will unlock there. I assume that these achievements won't be rare for that long. Um, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you could trash them about, I suppose. You could be nasty to them, but, you know, that whole treat them mean, keep them keen thing, that's not a, that's not a thing. People like squishy and nice. I assume, unless you don't, then I just settle that for nothing. So have a look at these big tomatoes with um, weird grass sticking out of them. That is another animal that we need to collect. Yes, that is an animal. Don't worry about pressing this C rock for the time being. This is a timed one. What we're just going to do is gather some more 
energy for this uh, for a second. So grab the energy, stick them crystals up your nose, and then we can. <laughs> no, don't do that. That that hurts. So as soon as you do, press it once again, and then we need to dash across to the other side, and then stand just behind this sort of archway here. Uh, um, on the particular stone and that will fly us over and then you can press the X button to teleport your way over so this is obviously what's going to be happening a lot um, as we grab this first orb but that is the sort of main mechanic of this area oh look at that super badass I am brothski so we're going to head to the right as we jump down there is a new animal for us to collect and it is like these weird cactus things funnily enough called cactus Caculatus, Caclutus, or something. Yeah, Caclutus. Um, yeah, he hasn't got any left. We just flooded him up. We just bled him dry. So if we head slightly to the left, there's going to be another sea rock uh, for us to be interact with. So that is what we're going to do. And then, again, this is a timed one. So what you need to do is jump up on the springs on the left, or this little... Let me see. See, me pissing around then. But we will try that again. So jump immediately to the left so we can jump up, dash yourself, and then you can teleport your way across to the other side. Delicious, man. Delicious. And there is going to be another orb. It is just on the other side, so of course be careful not to fall and die. It, again, it, it does come in extreme handy when you don't die. So this is our last bag of the night, so we, you can stick that up your nose and it gives us the energy once again to carry on partying all through the night. Um, head to basically just in the middle of the map there, just sort of, you know, directly from where we were. Get rid of all your energy and then we can just start to chill out as we got this next orb. Yes, I know what I said and it's not that good, so very sorry. So, but that is that bit done. Again, if you want to complete the level, you can, but it's always worth just completing the 100% of the area first. So, directly in front of where we were, grab the next text cube. But don't scream at me, you little boner looking thing. Give me all the white stuff from the tip before I head up, <laughs> I'll go away. So as we just transported to the other side there, um, if you head up the steps and then go to the right, we're gonna see this sea rock. Apologies, that was uh, quite quick there. The editing was not brilliant on my part there, so apologies about that. Again, this is another timed one, so you need to jump immediately straight away, uh, but we should be good. <laughs> Again, remember to try and surf. When you go in for a long distance, try and press the left trigger. Although at this point, again, it doesn't really matter. Again, this is another timed one, so immediately as we do that, head to the right, and then the pl these platforms are going to jump up. So try and get it about a second before they start to appear, and then that should be all good. But we do have another one that we need to jump across quickly, and there we go. That is the next orb done, dusted, up the bumstead. Job done. Hello, my little flying friend. How's that little tail? A little bushy tail. You're going to be in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you are. My little weirder tails looking friend. So we're going to jump down. Surf like a badass. Press the sea rock. And then what's going to happen is this rock's going to come down. Oh my god, secrets everywhere. Fair play for an onion-headed boy without a brain. Um, as we uh, just get the next uh, animal. For an onion-headed boy without a brain, we are pretty intelligent. A lot more so than me. Now, we've already collected these cactuses, but this is the bigger cactus. So, again, that one can be easily missed if you don't interact with him. Uh, so, gra interact with him before grabbing the orb. And then, job is fine. It's fan, just fan. Fan, just fan. Fan. So, we're going to head across now, basically, to the other side of the desert. Obviously, as you can probably tell, the areas get a little smidgen bigger. And we're going to teleport our way all the way up to the other side. Again, we don't need energy, but you want to keep partying, bro, don't you? And then, okay, this bit can be a little bit tricky. There's a little bit of a rock just in front of us that we can jump on. It might be a little bit tricky. It might take you one. It took me a couple of attempts, that one. 
uh, before jumping down. You can't actually jump down from the teleporting pad to this bit. It doesn't work. That's why I kept failing on that part, personally. Um, but we are almost done with this area, finally. So teleport our way sort of to the middle of the map right there. There is a reason. There is methods to my madness. I promwa. Um, because we are actually going for, I believe, the meditation spot now. Uh, but we need to just go behind us. And when we get to this point, we're going to head uh, just to the left. You can probably see the light shining out of the floor, as is to not be too obvious and conspicuous, of course. But it is there. It's just the meditation spot there, just on top. As it, as you can see, sometimes the best... <laughs> The best thing to find your way is to just keep taking a look at the environment. So it is on the... Uh, depends again which way you're looking at it. If we're looking towards the bottom of the map, it is on the right hand side. Um, yeah, but it should, it's, it's not too bad. It's basically, as you can probably just see, the tower where the energy orb was just in the middle of it there. Uh, so it's just to the left of that energy orb. Oh, again, on the right. D depends where you're looking, man. It depends where you're looking. So we've got everything that we can do in this area, so now we can just move on, do the small little puzzle, and then move our ass on. So, hit the teleporter on the right, and then what we need to do is push this block. There's only one path for this block to go, so keep on pushing. Well, keep on pushing twice, anyway. And then we're just going to um, head on top of it, and we're going to grab the light. That is what we are needing. Again, this could have all been avoided, by the way, if, you know, we just got a bigger stick or, you know, something like that. Would have made life a lot easier, but that's okay. You know, people, <laughs> some men have small sticks, some men have big giant ones. you you just got to learn to cope with what you've got. <laughs> so anyway, which is sad for some, not for others, funnily enough. Um, but <laughs> we are going to obviously push that block to the other side, and eventually we are going to jump our way back across... And just on this little platform, there is going to be the light for us to stick it in. So, do it dry, do it with lube, and do whatever you, whatever pleases you best. And then, just go to the platform, there you go, in the middle, and we're going to go to the other side, actually, all the way to the left-hand side now. And we're going to jump across. Again, it's a small little puzzle for us to do. Even though, again, this one, there is only one path, and that's to put it all the way around. So once we are done with that, then we're going to go back to the middle teleporter and then we're going to head back to where we came from, which is the left teleporter. Onion head, he loves the bread and he loves sticking on his head. Or something or other. So obviously now what we can do is dash our buns across, dash across again, and hey, stupid flying squirrel. You almost crap my pants, man. Stop crapping my pants. We interact with this statue, that gives us the platform across, go back towards the middle, and then we can fly across, enjoying life, and do we ride the fourth legendary animal? You're damn right we do, boy. Get your west on a legendary animal. It's like a weirder, weaker looking Charizard.
Now, I know I said about the turtle earlier, but surely this thing could help us just basically get to the very end. You've got wings and you can fly. Oh, no, it's okay. You just drop us off at an island. You know, you're probably hungry from doing nothing all day. God damn it, that's probably where the dinosaurs died out. Lazy ass hurt. Anyway, interact with this sea rock, do a little bit of climbing and walking, and then we go and get to the next area, which is the Unktur Desert. Unktunken. So first off then, we're going to head to the left. We're going to be climbing some prickly branches. By the way, did I say a little bit of climbing and uh, climbing and walking? Obviously what I meant was surfing and teleporting. Uh, close enough, right? Close enough. <laughs> so we're going to head on to these uh, spikely, spiky prickly branches, which hurts the normal person, but for some reason, even though we just landed it directly in uh, Gooch Onion, Onion Gooch Town, Apparently that did not hurt him at all, so again, we're thankful for that. You do not want to stick one of those, spic uh, those spiky prickly boys up your gooch. Not a pleasant feeling, one would assume. So again, this is another timed one, so try and not <laughs> almost die as I did there, but collect the orb quick as you can. Again, if not, you'll just have to um, climb back up, do it again. Easy peasy. So again, this one is an even bigger area of the desert, so this one can be uh, easy to get lost, but of course I'm going to try not let that happen. Why would I? Uh, so we've got this. Now that generally looks like a wiener on the end of his nose. Don't care what anyone says. That is floppy, and I bet that don't get hard. So... <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, we'd go into... Uh, go just across from where we just got that weird looking wiener nose giraffe thing um you don't actually again you don't actually have to do that i was just determined to get one before i finished the game <laughs> otherwise we can just jump up here go across onto the rock and grab this first text cube So as you can see, we're jumping down to the right, and we're getting a new animal. Now, there is, this is where the meditation spot is, so, you know, it's probably worth, for some reason, I don't go for it. But it's obviously worth uh, get, grabbing the meditation spot before moving on, if you prefer. And then just a little bit further down from that is the next text cube. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know why I didn't go for that, but of course, if you just want to keep on following the video, then by all means, that is beautiful. If not, of course, then I completely understand that you wanted to go for that uh, meditation spot. So, we got the energy. We got the energy they need to party on a loud, baby. Uh, but basically, we're just going to head sort of to the left of where we were. And we're going to keep on heading up, turning around, and you can probably just see in the distance there is another orb for us. And that is exactly where we are heading. So next up then, what we need to do is basically turn around and have a look at, you can see that big rock formation. Um, I'm just going for this uh, big snake here just to get a bit of energy, but the big rock formation which was just in front of us there, uh, we've got a little timed puzzle. Man, I'm so thirsty. I wonder how many of us would cope in the desert. Me, not at all. I love the comforts of home life and I I would die within an hour if I was stranded on a desert. So, from here then, very quickly, you need to turn around, and the light's going to light up. We need to teleport our way across. Same with this one. Teleport. Head to the right slightly. Teleport, and then teleport up again. And there we go. This is where we get our next orb. Again, that one is timed, so uh, you just have to be as quick as you can with that. If not, you just have to go across all the way back to the start, and try that one again. So... Again, like I said, the general theme of collecting and getting these orbs is still very, very much thrilling, right? <laughs> still extremely thrilling, I'm sure. 
So we're just going to head basically slightly to the right and we're going to end up in this little area right now. Um, there is an orb for us to collect so we need to teleport our way across. And then we need to grab the light off of this. You can see the orb just in the difference there. Uh, distance, did I say? Yeah, I did say distance. Oh man. Oh man, I'm almost done. And there we go. Uh, so this, we need to be doing this quite a bit. Leave the light on there. It was actually the teleporter across that we needed to get to. And then we need to interact with this light once again. Beam and light. That is going to move the platform for us. So a couple of little few dashes down. Dash down vodka, please, bro. Man, I really don't have a problem with vodka, I swear. I've said it about five times, but I'm not an alcoholic, goddammit. Goddammit. So, we need to interact with this light once more, and then we need to put it onto the middle one. So, yeah, a lot of very fun, thrilling running. Hmm, can you tell the excitement there in my voice? There we go then, that one is done. Now we can teleport to the other side. And I know I say that in every video as well, but well, it's a goddamn good song. And there we go, that is how you did that puzzle to get the orb. So a lot of running about with the light, and a lot of not going very fast. But that bit is done now, so we will be coming up to the end of this area relatively soon. Uh, but we need to grab this light, and actually we need to do a little bit more running. Uh, because there is one specific section, more or less in the middle of the map, that we need to grab this light for. So, basically just keep heading <laughs> directly down. And it's quite close to Giraffe Boy in the distance. So just go ahead, stick your lightning there, platform raises, and we need to get rid of this, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever the hell that is, annoying bug featured bug man. Yeah, that's about the best I can do with that one. Jump across to the other side, of course, try and straighten up your shots as you do, as always, and try to sort of aim from the middle of the platform that you're on. Get the orb, and that is, well, that is nice. So from here, what we're going to be doing then, sort of head to the left-ish, um, over the hill and far away, Teletubbies come to play. And having a two-year-old, I hear that theme tune a lot more than I think. But anyway, <laughs> to the left, you can just see the text cube in the diff uh, distance. Well, it's not so distant anymore, it's right in front of us. So, interact with that then. Of course, we are almost done with the 100% of this area. Yeah, grab a couple more energy bits if you'd like, uh, but just go straight ahead. Up the stairs we go, and we're just going to interact with another sea rock. Now, basically, I believe that these are people that worked on the game? Maybe? Me? Well, the writing is... yeah, yeah, so... So basically, a whole lot of thank yous and everything, everyone working on the game, I believe. Really sorry if I did get that one wrong, but you know. Anyway, so from there, uh, we're just going to head sort of back down on ourselves. Uh, this bit I know that I probably could have done a little bit better in terms, of, uh, in terms of a flow, but it was actually the one thing that I missed, which was really annoying. So apologies about that, because it's in this sort of rib cage, this dead dinosaur rib cage right here. I wonder what happened to the meat. Probably nothing good. Probably had all sal salmonella and stuff, but I bet it tasted quite nice. So anyway, just from the rib cage there, we're going to go all the way over here, basically to the other end of the map. And then if we just uh, met, uh, transport ourselves to the other side and then down a little bit further, uh, well, apparently, would have been a good try, but there is going to be a meditation spot. So we're just opposite of where we just were there. But if we head down, there is going to be the meditation spot. We can meditate our ass on debt. And there we go. That's 100% of this area completos. 
And that is brilliant. Now we can just get rid of the small puzzle and we can move on to the final desert. No, we can actually move on to the completely new area, which uh, will be the final three of the game. So from here, <clears throat> from behind you, then we're going to go uh, head back. Now, what we basically have to do, I believe this is a timed puzzle. Um, but what you basically need to do is interact with the light uh, right here. So interact with that and then a little bit of light will go up. Then you just need to transport yourself to the other side. Interact with this one. So a bit more of the white in the uh, rock in the background goes up. And then just nip quickly as you can to the other side. Interact with the light once more. And then we're going back to the middle one. Interact with that. Again you can see the white just start going up on the rock behind it. And then we're just going to keep doing that until it is a full as a bull. Is it full as a bull yet? Almost full as a bull. <laughs> so get to the other side. Okay, it's as full as a bull can take. Which is nice. Uh, so this is a small puzzle. It's not the end of the area, but that is what we're going to get ourselves into now. And again, I could, pro could have probably just gone from left to right or right to left instead of middle to left and middle to right. But life is all good. So we're going to stick our stick in the old hole there and we're going to move it all the way to the right hand side so that transporter can uh, light up for us. <clears throat> Obviously remember to press the X button again to take it out <laughs> because you'll just make all those mistakes that I made. So again we're going to interact with this button. This is basically going to give us the opportunity now to move the beam of light over to the left and then once again we're going to transport our way over like a badass. Bow, 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 bow. And then we're just going to push this rock over once. Yeah, that's all we can do. And then we're going to transport back. It's 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 kind of that way. All we're doing is sort of getting rid of the rock. So we can um, so we put it over to the right-hand side, this beam of light. And that is exactly all we needed to do. So, now what we need to do is sort of basically head back to where we came from, sort of. Um... Stick the beam of light. We're going to put that all the way over to the left-hand side now once again. There we go. And then that transporter beam will light up. Now we should be golden as nuggets to get in there. <clears throat> okay, so this is the final small puzzle of this particular area. So once again, big black stick in the hole. Thank you very much. Um, and then we're going to move it to the left to start the platform moving. So this one, we're going to transport our way over. It's not too difficult, but don't try and rush it. No need to be a hero. We're just going to take our time. Uh, as you can see there, I did die, and that's why there was an, <laughs> a fantastically well-hidden edit skip. Ish. Now, don't do what I do there. We're going to push this rock over just once, obviously. And then we should uh, be good to go to transport to uh, back to where we came from there, which is just on the left. And then we can transport our way back to the beginning section. So we've done the first bit then, move the rock out of the way, job's good. Now we can stick big black in small hole, move it all the way over to the right, there we go, so we get those two platforms moving. Um, <laughs> transport you, I thought I jumped in for some reason, but it's transporting you away. Uh, sometimes it's worth doing a dash and then transport if you can't actually uh, physically get or can't actually physically reach the target from where you are. So a run, jump and dash, plus the transport, that'll always work well. Uh, this one's a bit finicky for some reason, so sort of walk behind it, and walk, <laughs> walk around and it should work. And now we should be golden as hell, boy. So all we're doing now, move it from the right-hand side to the middle one, and that will open up the transporter there at the very end. So again, we're going to transport away. And we move on again. Make sure with the desert is 100%, and then we can fly away. Actually, we're riding an animal.
So we're on to the final sort of chapter now of the game. We've got three areas left to do. It's a little, a little more wetter and a little less drier than the desert, which is always nice. But this is a lot higher and a lot more platformy than the rest of the game has gone. So you'll have to be a bit more careful when jumping around. But we are going to get a new power. You know, because that always happens in games when you're going on an adventure. It would make our life a hell of a lot easier. Um, light up the statue. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Oh, we're just going to, uh, you know, Mumbai for a, for an adventure. Oh, well, let's just get ourselves some dash power, some surfing power, and some uh, floating power. Well, this always comes in handy. So, press and hold the right trigger to float anywhere. Obviously, you've always got an unlimited amount of energy anyway, so this is always fine and dandy. Um, but this is all we need to do then. Hold the right trigger and you will float. Comes in handy a lot of places. Really does your tits in in a number of other places, as we will soon see. But once again then, just go through the tutorial. What we'll be doing is a little bit of transporting, a little bit of floating, a little bit of everything in this one. So, please enjoy. For this but then all we got to do keep hold of the right trigger button but as you can see we can start floating up because oh, we actually need to get up to the rock above so you don't have to do anything just relax yourself try not to poop your pants we do find another animal here that's pretty admissible try not like i said try not to poop your pants as you're going up because me i'm not good with heights anyway and that would have just absolutely sugared me pants off that would have been completely brown pants time. But luckily, like I said, we can just float back up if you do miss it. Uh, so, yeah. This would uh, be the enemy. Heart attack syndrome for me. If I had to do something like this. Uh, but yeah, very easy enough anyway. Welcome to Yakup Mesa. Looks bloody beautiful, mate. But what we are going to do is get the final missable achievement. So we're going to go straight ahead of us. And what we need to do is get these incendions. And we need to keep them floating in the air for around 10 seconds. So as soon as they start falling down, just dash your way um, underneath them. And just keep doing that for 10 whole seconds. One, two, skip a few. One million. Ah, oh, see, it worked. The skip a few trick always works. Uh, but it's always worth us slamming them up in the air to get some big energy crystals inside your neck. Which will always be tidy. So, <clears throat> from here then, we're going to go slightly to the uh, to the right of where the Ascendians were, actually. I'm uh, just going to collect some energy crystal from these B-laps or whatever the hell they're called. Um, oh, sorry, we're going to go behind where we were. Uh, we got another new animal, so uh, make sure to grab that. They'll always, be, again, they'll always be in roughly the same area. And our first little collectible. Then, after we chase away these little nut sacks, uh, there is a text book, a little cube text. That's what we're going to get uh, after we get the energy. No, oh, okay. Well, screw you, buddy. I don't want your goddamn energy anyway. But I do want your little cube text, because that is going to help us achieve far more than we'd ever imagined with achievements. Oh, thank you very much, you flying squirrel monkey boy. Okay, so now we're going to start going back towards where the Ascendions were, first of all, where we got the achievement. And now we can start heading 
Uh, basically, straight on, we're going to interact with the big sea rock. The big croc right here. Why do people love crocs, by the way? Is, is that a thing? My daughter loves crocs. Is, is that a thing? Do people love crocs? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they're super fashionable. Super comfy. Anyway, what we're going to do then is just head up onto these little platforms. Uh, again, try not to to do what I done, which was fail spectacularly at jumping. Uh, apparently forgetting to press the A button or something. Line yourself up tidy, jump over, and then we're going to float our way. Remember, pressing and holding the right trigger to the other side. Jump down, stick in long thing. And then we're going to move that very slowly. <laughs> we are going to do that very slowly to the left, which helps the transporter go up. I almost keep forgetting the name. Trans... Transformer, transporter, yeah, you get the drift. Anyway, as soon as you do that, hold the right trigger to float, and then the orb is all yours. Happy days. Now jump on back to mainland, where you don't have the chance to completely have a heart attack as you're flying down to your certain death. Um, we've got these little mushroom things right here, bloonabills, or whatever in the hell they're called. Now this definitely makes you seem like you're on the trip, honestly. Even if you just visited the dentist office or something, this area definitely feels like it. So we need to press the sea rock there, and we need to jump up on both uh, little springy things, and we need to float around there to get the next orb. Sorry again that the commentary was a little bit delayed there, that happened very quickly. Uh, again, that one may take just a couple of tries, it took me more than enough tries because I kept getting stuck on the rock somehow. Right, so we interact with the mushroom thing again, old long neck. Grab the text cube, and we've also got enough energy to get the orb from the tower. From here then, we're going to be going to the left. You can probably just see there is the orb up right there. Well, it was just on the tower anyway. But first things first, we're actually going to get rid of our energy, because I'm not sure, but I think every time you fall flat on your face and die, you actually lose a couple, a bit of energy and a couple of crystals. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that is the case, but it did happen to me once or twice through the game. So, you can't be sure, but, you know, let's just get this one out of the way anyway. Get your hand in there, boy. Get us that orb. Well, isn't that what we like to see? We like to see the puzzles on the go, but we're not going to do that Momo for a mo. What we are going to grab is another orb and the rest of the collectibles, so we can 100% this area and get our onion-headed onion out of here. Okay, I don't know why I'm still going for energy crystals at the minute. You really don't need to since we've got what we need, but uh, hug around to the left of this wall and we're going to actually be heading up right here. Again, excuse me, Bugface McGee, Mesut Ozil, could you just get away? Thanks very much. Okay, job done. So, interact with the old sea rock. If you can actually walk straight and not straight off a rock like I did, that, that always comes in handy as well. So, interact with that then. Then we're going to interact with the uh, new rock that just lit up, and then we can transport our way over. Beautiful. <coughs> excuse me, it's not COVID-related, honest. Uh, but we are, what we are going to do, float to the other end and try not to overexert yourself right here, but we are going to be going onto the floating rock there with the orb. I actually missed it the first time and had to go around, so that just pissed me off. It really did. <laughs> Again, I, I don't know if I just, I don't know if I'm just like a child and really simple things just <laughs> amaze me incredibly, but that's why I was going for those Ascendions. But we're going to head up to the top of this hill here. Again, this is all just for collecting mushrooms. But you can see just on the floating rock once again, we've got the orb. So, we're going to go straight into that. <laughs> and then fall flat on our face, break our onion neck. Do onions have a neck? Or is it just like a head with like an, a sort of aubergine, straight aubergine body or something? I, I don't know. I don't know how our onion bodies work personally. But we're heading all the way back up to the hill, just where we were, and this time we're going straight down, because we've got another cube text to get. Poifek, mate. Poifek. And uh, we are sort of coming up to the end now, but we're just going to turn right back around to where we sort of just headed back down. Ascendians. Funny. 
and we're going for this, uh, we've gone for the last meditation spot now. Um, it's sort of in the, again, in the sort of middle of the map. You can see where the light is sticking out of the ground. Just in between all these trees. Could be potentially easy to miss. Uh, but it is literally just opposite of where we just collected the last orb and the last text cube. But, with this area done and dusted, like busted, because they are done and dusted, I don't care, their music is not as good as it used to be when they were releasing albums every two months. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm really showing my age right there. Uh, so, Yekap yeah, Mesa is done then. Again, press the Y button to uh, see how much percentage you've got. You should, if you've been following every video like I've been doing, you should be on 100% by now. So, we went up to the statues there and we just transported our way to the other side. So, we're going to uh, go back down. Basically, the reason we've done that is we need to put these three statues in a particular order. So, the way to do that is you need to transport yourself. Uh, take a look at the uh, puzzle location up there. So as you can see, that it's sort of standby mode button, if you want to call it that, in the middle one. And then you only have to interact with the uh, right hand statue three times. The first one should all be good. So once again, we're gonna head up. Like I said, jump and dash if you can't get the target to appear. Uh, you should be okay enough though. And then we are just gonna jump to the right float our way across and as you can see that is the next puzzle uh, location now like I said I would normally I would probably have just kept on kept on going and I just tell you sort of the uh, pattern puzzles but I thought it would be nice to show you for a change I know in previous videos I've actually just kind of rushed it a little bit uh, rushed the puzzles so I thought it'd be nice to show you how you actually get this puzzle at least so there we go then, that is the like line and then standby mode at the end there. So again, apologies for, again, apologies there, I was talking quite a bit, but apologies for not telling you which ones to, uh, now which statues to click how many, however many times, but I will be better this time, on the last time anyway. So there is the next and final uh, solution. Now we can just transport our way all the way back across. And then we can basically move move out of this area. So we're going to go with the left statue. We're going to press that one two times. And then with the middle statue then, we're going to press that only once. And then the third statue, we're basically just going to keep pressing it until... So basically it's three times, but until the um, automatic light comes on. And then, bam! There we go. Now we can just transport away over to the right hand side and we can leaf. We now have two areas in which to do. Life will be great with another 1000. Flying so high among the sky, flying higher than the sea people. Right then, that's pretty tidy bobs. So that is how you just get past that bit. All we're doing then, flying through the sky and doing a bit of teleporting as well. So we've got first text cube immediately as we start in Pull Yang Heights, or Pull Wang Heights as I like to call it. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so text cube immediately on the right, and then we're just going to head up these steps. This one is even more platformy than the last one. Excuse me, if you could get my crabs out of the way here. They're kind of ruining the mood, as it were. <laughs> there we got Blobby Mushroom again, so it doesn't take that long to get the energy crystals in this one, for, for some reason. Now, this one is particularly frustrating. What you're meant to do is actually float, and these are supposed to give you a little bit of height every time you hit the light, but for some reason... It kept doing my head in, so you can actually dash there. So wait until you're at the very top, and then that, and then you can use either the float or the dash. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure you are meant to actually use the float as we grab the uh, the next orb. <laughs> but I got pissed off with trying to float and kept dying all the time, so I just used dash instead. But like I said, wait until you're at the very top and then start heading towards the next one because you'll just go underneath it, miss it, and die, die, die again. And dying is annoying. Luckily for Onion Head, we can die as many times as we want, but it's still bloody annoying. So go, go past the skid, nutsacks right there, and then we're heading sort of towards the other end of the map. And guess where we are going? We're going to the other side, so luckily this time it's easier. We can just transport ourselves. Lovely, deliciously, and then we're just going to head up here. Now we're going, going to interact with the Sea Rock. This is a timed one again, so you need to be quick. So transport yourself, fly through this little Ringo Star, and then you can transport yourself. Do the same thing, so start floating, fly through the Ringo Star, and then transport yourself. And then, of course, right trigger. You could probably leave it off for just a couple of seconds so you uh, fly, fly down a little bit faster, but you can still get there with enough time if you decided to, to uh, float straight away like I just did there. Din, just done there. So that is that orb completo. And now we can just transport our way back to the other side. So from here we're going to go to the left. Uh, this is a easily missable text cube, so head to the left, press the X button of course, and we are going to read said text obini. And what we're going to do, we get some more energy if you so desire, but we are going to interact with these little bits of flies or winged beasts, whatever you want to call them, float our way up. And then what we're going to do is just head down to the, uh, below the platform there, and you can see we're just grabbing the next orb. So, we've got another one now, that is the third one, so this puzzle can be completed if you want to complete it now, but don't bother with that, let us get the 100% first, otherwise you're going to have to reset it all again, and my god, isn't that an annoying ass. So, jump down, we collect a new animal called the Blue Virus, or the Blue Virus, sounded like an Australian term on the word Blue Virus then, didn't it? Because I'm obviously brilliant at being Australian. And then just across from there then, as we can see, is the next orb for us to collect from the energy source. Plenty of energy about, of course, if you don't have uh, a lot of it left. Now we're sticking with the right hand side. Interact with this sea rock, partially hidden by the grass. And then we can float on our way up. Up, up, up to the sky. Don't get high because you're in the sky. Eating cream pie. Oh yeah. Ch -ch -ch oh yeah. Eating corned beef pie is nice. So, uh, dash your way over, and then dash your way over again there. Again, that was another one I tried floating over, but it didn't work, so dashing always seems to work. Speed and power solves many things, as a once famous Jeremy Clarkson would say. But after grabbing the text cube, jump down, and we're going to head to the left-hand side. And the reason being, the last meditation stop is here for us. That is 100% this area complete, so now we can... Float on by with the sea people. Autocorrect, sorry. I meant uh, we can complete this level with <laughs> doing the final puzzle. And for some reason, and this one seems to be one of the easiest of the game, really. So we need to press the X button here. And as you can see, that uh, little movement, li that little thing is going to start moving. So we need to transport away. We need to press left trigger to surf. And as soon as he starts hitting, as soon as the light starts hitting the transformer, then we can go. So you'll have to wait. Maybe you have to wait one or two seconds there if you're too fast. Um, because there's been a, there were a few times that 
there we go. So as soon as the light hits it, then you can start to transport and then just go through the Ring of Death. The Ringo Star of Fire, then transport your way up to the top and that is Pull Yang Heights, Pull Wang Heights done, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that one was a bit tricky. I was going too fast and wondering what the hell I was doing. Turns out you've got to wait until the light hits it, etc. Job done. So what we need to do then, a bit of floating, a bit of platform jumping. And that is Pull Wang Heights done. And then we've just got one more area to go before the game is completo. As long as we've been 100% of the area like I have. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty disappointed. I thought the fifth and final legendary animal was going to be like, you know, have incredible flame wings on his back and big huge breath and big huge fire breath. Not big huge breath. Nobody needs that in your face. Uh, but still, we've got kind of like a, a, a skinny bird with trees sticking out of his head, which that, that'll do. That'll do. That's good enough for us. As long as it gets us from A to B. One last stroke of the old squirrel beef chin, and there we go. So we're going to float our way over to the right. We're going to do some siphon. Uh, again, we obviously need to collect a little bit more energy, so destroy the rock. Again, if only it was that easy for us. You know, stick a stick in the ground, and then stuff would break and explode. So this is another part that I kept dying on for some reason, just wasn't getting my jumps right, etc. So again, it's one of those that you can sort of overdo it. Um, so just be careful, you know, not to sort of, uh, well, overdo it, basically. It does get a bit tight for space and everything, so yeah, j just be careful and you'll be fine. All right then, that's pretty uh, SpongeBob tidy pants. We're all good. Now we're just gonna head to the left, climb up on these little bits of platforms to grab the next textbook, text cube. Ah, 
And so you're probably wondering where we're off next. We're going to get this incredibly massive tall dragonfly thing. Now that, dragonflies are a pest and pretty annoying at the best of times, but to have one that tall, well, again, you would just crap your butt off, wouldn't you really? So, and he actually just craps some diamonds out for us as well. So, cheers, Mr. Big Huge Dragonfly. But, obviously, we're going to interact with them anyway, so that can go into your Pokedex, as it were. Your Onion Dex, Oni Dex, whatever. Anyway, but directly straight in front of him, we're going to uh, interact with this tower. Uh, to grab yet another orb. Really, sure it's not going to take this long. Uh, interact with this Sea Rock. And then what's going to happen then is the uh, doors are going to open and we're going to get a little bit of air. Now there is another animal just to the other side of this air vent. Um, which for some reason I accidentally edited out. So just make sure that you grab the other animal. I will show you where I jump off uh, one of the rocks anyway. And I got to grab it anyway. So just move forward and then you can either dash or get onto the other side there and on the orb, on the rock here is the orb. So if you jump down directly from here, um, either side, left or right, whatever, that is where you will find the next animal. Again, apologies, I actually edited it out. But as I jump down here, have a look in this grassy area. Uh, just, well, it was just below us there and you should get the next animal. Otherwise, as soon as you get that one, we can now move across to tether side. And then up, 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 and higher we go. We're just going to climb up the rocks. Only one path to go. Dash yourself across. Bam! And float your way across the well. But a dash float in. And then the next text cube appears right meow. All right, Rabble Rouser. As soon as we can, we're going to jump down. And you can probably just see some floating Ringo stars there. Some Ring of Fires. The Ring Stings. Uh, but we're going to head to the left. There we go. Just floating in midair. What we're going to do is also collect this new animal type for our onion decks. Uh, but what you need to do is dash as soon as uh, these bird things or sagriffs are flying around. And you just need to go all the way in a circle. Obviously holding the right trigger to float. And then basically it's just going to help us get all the way around. And as soon as we go past the, the final one. We need to transport our way over. There we go. And that is where the next orb is. So that is all good. Now what we need to do, we need to head left here. There is a rock as we go left past the dragonfly immediately left. Um, I accidentally ended up going a little bit too far here, so apologies about that. But we're on the wrong rock, as I'll be able to tell in a minute. So I'm like, oh, where the hell am I? So as you can see, it's the rock there with the ring on it. Or the little jumper Spaniard. There we go. So that is why we needed to jump down and go immediately left to go here. So interact with the sea rock. Jump on the old sonic spring. Get yourself over. Now we're going to have to be very careful with this part. As we can see, there is a laser. There was a light beam that just, sh uh, well, shone at us. And then what we could do, so immediately go over and just push this rock uh, as far down as you can. Uh, interact with it twice. And then what happens, as you can see, bomb. So he, uh, <laughs> this light thing is pr pretty much the only enemy in the game. So you need to dash until we get to the shady bit. That is why we needed to put that over there. Then dash again. Take a dash and then immediately jump to the next platform which was behind us there. And then we should be all good to go for this point. It's only when we get over to the next main area. So it's not too bad as long as you got your dash timing down. Uh, we needed to move the stick just a little bit to the left there to grab this platform up. So we just about make it there. And then as soon as you can, jump up and then immediately go to the left. Grab the orb and then we can just jump down and transport our way back. So if you do end up dying, you just end up going to the beginning, but if the platform will already be raised if you died at the end there, so it doesn't make too much of a differential. So since we're back, we're just going to go past uh, <laughs> the poopy legs of the incredibly tall dragonfly thing. As he poops out some more energy diamonds for us. There we go, so we are good to go. 
And we're just going to go, do, I keep just walking in front of us for now, and there is the final orb for us. So immediately from the left, as you can see there, we've got the next text cube, and this is basically it. All we need to do now is get one more meditation spot, and then we can finish the final puzzle, have a little cutscene, do a little bit of walking, talking, try not to cry because you've got an onion for a head, and then it's basically the end of the game. So we are pretty much almost there, but from directly from where the text cube is, go past the giant dragonflies, and it's basically in the opposite direction there. We got weird blue snake thing, just having a chill. But this is it, meditation spot number 10 for the game. And that should be your achievement there for um, Fumuku Cliffs or Funamau, whatever the bloody hell it is. My English, I butcher the English language, so you know, any other language is just going to be impossible for me. Which is a damn shame. <laughs> so, we've done Fumamau, Mamau, Mamau, Mamau Cliffs. And now, again, directly in front of us, as you can see, big beaming light, white. White light, even. Again, close enough. As you can see, the English language, apparently, is not my first choice, even though it is my only choice. So, <laughs> as soon as we get up here, we are leaving the cliffs. Beautiful. So, get the right trigger going. We're going to be doing a lot of floating until we get to the final little tiny area. And, well, so, here we are then. So we've got the checkpoint. Now what we're going to do is, again, this is an, an easy puzzle for an ending one, to be honest. So make sure you uh, chuck yourself forward there as you jump up. There's another checkpoint. So we're going to grab the light, pop it down in. And then, like, so like I said, it's just going to be a lot of sort of float in, a lot of platform jump in. Uh, but obviously just keep yourself, don't be pushing yourself forward or anything. Just hold on to that right trigger until we get to the top of the rock. Top of the rogues. And so we can pop our light in, but obviously you're thinking, how the hell do I get down from here? And there is just a little bunch of platforms we can jump down. So that is as tidy as sticking your shirt inside your underpants. Does look quite nerdy and potentially virginish sometimes, but... Hey, sometimes you've got to make the impression, right? <laughs> what am I saying? I do that all the time. And there we go. So we can transport our way to the other side. Uh, grab the light once again, of course. And we're going to float ourselves up. Spring ourselves up, as it were. Make sure to move forward so you can jump up with ease. And again, it's going to be the same sort of thing for the final time. But we're going to uh, float our way to the next island. Now, it doesn't matter if you actually hit the ground or anything, you can just uh, press the left trigger to surf or you can dash as long as you go through the ring piece in any particular which way. It's all good, baby. So, if you do that, then we can stop, jump, transport, baby, that's gonna be alright. And then we can hit this uh, stone statue right here, get the platform up, transport our way to the other side, and as you can see, we are very close to the top. And this is a lot easier to do than uh, in Crackdown 1's final mission of climbing the tower. Oh, God, what a pain in the butt snatch. Although, of course, you could drive up the tower, which would have made things even easier in this game as well. But, you know, tit for tat and all of that. Fly, onion boy, fly! Okay, so as soon as you do that, we can transport away, as you can see, 
uh, we're going to transport our way to the other side as soon as we hit this switch. Platform's there, transport's on. Well, there's only one thing to do, except fly with the sea peep. No, we're not good doing that, but we're going to grab the light. And we are basically coming to the end of the tower now. So we're going to interact, grab the light here, and then a new little pass going to open for us. Um, obviously, I do dash a couple of times here. Just be careful not to fall off, because you will have to do, I think, that final puzzle again. I don't think we hit a checkpoint. But, well, what can we say? The adventure's been fantastic. The adventure's been epic. Hasn't it? Or has it just been disgusting? Well, I've enjoyed it, and the fact that one guy just made this game is still even more incredible. So I am hoping for something like this in the future, and again, the fact it came to Game Pass, because a lot of people would not know about these types of games if it weren't for Game Pass. So if anyone says, if anyone tells you the Game Pass is not worth the money, well, you can just tell them to suck your balls, honestly, because that um, <laughs> Game Pass is just incredible. A lot of people have already said it's a beautiful game, but they wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for Game Pass. So, well done there to um, every literal one person at Studio Winky Fox. Ah, oh, so this is it then. We've gone to the other side. We finally made it. We finally made the chicken joke work. Why did the onion chicken want to get to the other side? Uh, because he wanted to get off the planet, I suppose. Didn't want to die, maybe. Well, that's a really crappy joke to end the video, but <laughs> you've heard words from me. So there we go, we're just going to interact with this final cube and a cutscene will happen. a sad ending to an otherwise brilliantly beautiful game so there we go then guys and gals thank you so so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the game and i hope the guide has been very helpful as well and as usual we've had some laughs along the way don't forget of course if it did help don't forget to like comment subscribe and share as well also don't forget to check me out on my socials facebook twitter instagram also on patreon as well and speaking of thank you again as always so much to everyone who continues to support the show and the channel on patreon well <laughs> what can i say about that that was bloody awesome so thank you jonas for that absolutely amazing again thank you everyone for watching and playing along and i shall see you in the next one Big love.